Hi there, welcome back to the Lifestyle Show with me, Pam Joseph. Okay, now we, we're going to talk to a, a, a young a man who's got a very inventive mind. He's an entrepreneur and he's doing these things in his own right. He's just created uh, this particular gadget. He's going to he or explain it all to you. We're going to have some images of that as well. So let me introduce to you Michael Omotosho uh, to the Lifestyle Show. Michael. Hi, Pam. Hi there, Michael. How are you doing? I'm great, thank you. Thanks for having me on the show. Thank you no so much. Um, it's such a, I mean, it's so simple. Sorry, before I, you're going to tell the guest about this, I was going to give them a little kind of a hint. When I saw it, it's such a simple thing, but yet, who, why didn't anyone else think of it? So this is what you talk about, being an inventive mind, because it is like, oh, good, why didn't we think of that? You know, but this is such a great thing. You're going to describe it, and I hope we're going to have those images up. Of the gadget that I'm talking about. So, um, first of all, Michael, let's talk about how did you get into this sort of world of inventing things? What was it? What do you fiddle about with things? When, you know, do you always fiddle about with things? Pretty much exactly <laughs> what you just said. Um, yeah, from a young age, I've been that there's um, destroyed things at home, and probably parents didn't know about it because I put them back together. Only maybe they didn't work back the way they were before. Um, so that's been my mindset. I've always had this inquisitive uh, mindset to figure out how things work. Um, hence the career path I took. So I studied automotive design at university. Um, so I worked in the automotive industry for a while, about four, five years or six. And then from there, I just felt like, you know, it was a bit restrictive. So I wasn't allowed to be more creative about my ideas and solutions. So I decided to, you know, come out from the industry of engineering and decided to start designing my own products and putting them into market. Um, and the whole ethos about designing products is to see a different and make an impact as well. So that was the whole point of um, me coming up with products um, that helps people, um, even past projects I've done as well as always had an influence of um, having people inclusive together. So you could have people from learning disability or fully able people, you know, just finding one common product they could relate with. And that's always been, you know, my kind of way of um, finding fulfillment in what I'm doing really. So, yeah. Yeah, let's talk about the gadget. I hope, uh, Theo, can we get that up? Let's talk about this particular gadget. This is your latest invention, is it? Yes, it is. It's all right. Let's have a look at that. Um, I, I thought it was, well, my gosh, you're so handy, but I didn't think of it. What made you do, what made you think of doing something like this? Is that the mindset? What made you think of doing that? Did, is it about past experiences, about family experiences, about friends with experience? Of that yeah, it, it, it has been, um, it, it's, it's something that was going on in the background, but I never paid much attention attention to it. So my grandma has arthritis um, and we've had moments where she said, oh God, let me pull out the plug. Even my mom as well, sometimes you want to deem it as being lazy, like, oh yeah, but it's actually a problem that we overlook and we don't try to figure out how to come up with a solution for it. We just say, we'll manage it. So I was struggling with it at one point. I was like, oh my days, this is actually difficult. I need to see what I could do about this. So I went online and see what exists in the market to do a bit of market research and see what the, the, the solutions were. But they went um, appealing enough and it wasn't inclusive. And being a designer, you know, I had that mind that now I'm sure there's surely there's something better out there. So um, I just set out and said, you know, I'm going to make a difference and make something new and different that would make sense. Um, and the idea just normally takes time and process um, to come up with ideas because you have to keep refining and stuff. But I just sketched on paper. Yeah, and yeah, the idea just came down on paper. I was like, "This is it. This well, is." It. Let's go through the stages. Well, you just said something that's just clicked to me. That so you go through the stages. So you have first of all the idea, the the light bulb goes click. Yeah. yeah. Then putting it down on paper. So yeah. now from that point, when you do put the idea, you, it's a written idea. How yeah. does how does the design? Come into all right, so so the design aspect comes in from um, having a vision. So I'm kind of like. Sometimes I could be thinking about an idea in my head of how it would actually work. Then from there, I figure out sketching on paper and um, then I find a way to demonstrate the idea in my brain. So I could, it's kind of like allowing yourself to gaze away and imaginate something in a way. You just have to have that creative thinking phase of, or creative mind to be able to see how things would work. Then being able to communicate that into paper, that's where it could be tricky sometimes because you could have a vision of, how it's going to work and the mechanism and whatnot, but putting it on paper is a problem. So if you can put it on paper, then you can have the ability to design on computer. So this is CAD design, so 3D modeling. So that's what I was able to do. Then I did the 3D printing, and then I was able to try it out to see if it actually worked the way it was envisioned in my head. So yeah. try it out. So at this point, you've now created. 
Yes. The, 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 the protocol. If yeah. you will. Right. Yeah. So well, who do you go to to create? Because this particular gadget, you didn't go in your kitchen and make it. So where did you go to actually? Oh. So, so I'll tell you a second. So I actually have a 3D printer. So I 3D printed the first prototype myself. So yeah, um, and tried it out. So that gate. So it's quicker to to 3D print ideas before going to the uh, manufacturer. To the manufacturer. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got the yeah. So you've got the the 3D, and yeah. then you now need to go to the manufacturer. So this is at this point now. So you've gone up with your you know 3D layout. Your your thing. How easy is it to go to a manufacturer and say, "Here, can you do me a batch of this?" Uh, talk to us. It's I wouldn't say it's straightforward. It took me a while to find a uh, find a manufacturer. To be honest with you, um, so and I was I wanted to make something that was British made as well. I didn't want to go to China and you know go get it done. I wanted to find something local to me. Um, so. It took me about maybe over six months, um, you know, but it was helpful being able to see how it looked like first, because most people, the issues they have when they have ideas is they don't know how it's going to look like. So it's a bit difficult to explain your ideas to people, or maybe you make a sketch and the sketch doesn't look close to what your idea and your thought was. So um, I think the benefit and advantage I had was having that understanding. I think my past experience helped yeah. as well in terms of, um, being able to outsource and find out uh, manufacturers that will do it to the way I want it to, want so, it to be. Well, yeah. Sometimes, is a, it, could it be a hit and miss? Sometimes when they've done it, yeah. you, no, 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 that's not right. So would they go back and do it again? You know? Oh yeah, so um, even with my experience, um, I had to do two modes to get it right. So the first one was actually slightly different from what it is now because uh, we're selling now, but the first one was actually I had to meet some safety regulations, it had to meet standards as well, make sure it's now hazard as well because it's working with your electrical appliances. So there were so many thoughts and going back and forth, um, investment as well, you know, this is when you're taking your personal savings and putting it into something, you know, so there was a lot of that going into it, in, in as much as you said, it's so little and simple, but yeah, it was How, a What a remarkable oh, gadget. Michael, do you have a sample, do you have one of them with you that we can see? Let's just get the viewers, because we need to let the viewers know what we're talking about. I don't know what we're talking about. I should, I should have been like, can you bear with me a minute? Is that okay? Oh my gosh, you actually, you ain't got pajama bottoms on, have you? No, no, no. Oh, that's all right. You're excused. Be quick. All <laughs> right, oh. So, um, yeah, look at that. Such a simple thing, but you wouldn't think of it. Now, we just spoke about he's, he's a relative having you know, sort of arthritis and uh, an arthritic hand. So you know any relative that, or any friends that you know with an arthritic hand, how, how hard it is, let alone put, don't talk about, you know, just the plug going, pull in a plug out. That is so hard for someone with an arthritic hand or who does suffer with arthritis. So I thought this was, we've got it there, Michael. Thanks for your effort, but it's great to see you there. So, right. So it comes in a pack of three, so it comes in different colors as well. And so, um, and we've got glow in the darks as well for um, when it's um, dark at night for visibility at night. So um, I just ran down the stairs. I need to catch my breath. <sighs> you young man, you yeah. come on, fix up, fix up. Um, okay, so let's let's go through this again. You just you, your relative had arthritis, and you just said, "Bang!" Well, how could yeah. I help taking out the worst one? Is taking out the plug because we all leave it sometimes. <clears throat> Even just normal, you know, even with me, sometimes I struggle to take a plug yeah. out. So imagine having our, um, arthritis in your hand. So, so then you just thought, how could I help? My yeah. So, so it was more of a, um, a problem I saw within myself. Then it had to it had to take me back to comments and, you know, those little conversations you've had there and there. And it felt like it's going to be helpful for me, but for people who are having difficulty with this, it's going to be more of a necessity for them. Um, mm. So that was where the ding, ding, ding stuck into my head and said, you know, um, this is something surely people would want. Um, and, you know, um, and I've been privileged to do a few shows already and the response I've had has yeah. been overwhelming because it's like, oh, really? Like you guys really found this? Because to be fair, I didn't really think it, it was meant to be a personal thing, to be fair with me, um, just to put it in my house and just... A, a viewer asks in, uh, Therese has asked, uh, uh, where can I get one and how much does it cost, mate? So um, um, you can go to our website. Um, it's www.plugo.com. So it's P-L-U... 
G U W L. -L. I don't know if you can see it there. Um, so it comes in a pack of three, and it's uh, for five ninety five. And um, it's made in the UK as well. It's made manufactured here as well. Um, so yeah, um, it's basically for all your needs around your house, really. Um, I use it as, as well, like in as much as I don't have um, any disability yeah. or anything, but I find it so helpful. Um, families and friends, um, everyone. Um, there's a woman, um, a lady um, that messaged me as well. She she said, you know, um, when it comes to people who had chemotherapy when they had cancer, like when they come out of cancer, like they have um, um, impairment in the fingers a bit. So it's a bit hard to struggle. I didn't even know about that. You know, I'm discovering new solutions to um, new, new pro problems that Plugger is solving, if that makes sense. So, yeah. It does make sense. So, the post says, Supreme TV, you're asking, what shops is it in? Or so, it the website at the moment. So, we're trying to extend to other shops at the moment. Um, we had a few stint with JMO, um, but it didn't much materialize as we wanted it to be. So, you might see advert on JMO as well, but you would have to come directly to the website itself. Um, which is www.plugo.com. Um, that's where you get it there. So just type in Plugo, you'll be the first thing you see, really. But Michael, by now these things should be sold in Asda's and, and Morrison's. I know, I know. This, this is so. This is the part of me that is not so yeah. business intuitive. Like I am the designer. I'm the guy that comes up, you know, designs the ideas for you. I just put it out there for you or something. So this is the business side. I'm learning as well. Being an entrepreneur. Uh, or trying to get a product into market has not been so straightforward. You know, it's it's a it's a learning curve for me. I'm still learning, yeah. um, um, and you know, I'm open to to people who are willing to offer this. You need a marketing person. You need a marketing yeah, person. Okay. You know, so yeah. there's, there's a shout out there. You know, you know, Michael. You know, he's the inventor. He, he can't be dealing with that really. He just invents things, right? He needs a marketing <laughs> person. Get it out there. You know. Yeah, definitely. And, and to get it out there, we need it in all our shops. We need it even in our, our, our DIYs down the road, our local, Ooh. you know, mm -hmm. to come and get this thing. I love that bit about it, you know, the fluorescent ones in the night because, you know, people with, you know, eyesight not very good, yeah. and, you know, to see where things are as well. I think that's so absolutely fantastic. Is that the same price then, the glow ones? So it's just a pound extra. So it's, um, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Fantastic. What's your website detail, sir? We want to know a bit more about you. Sure. Uh, so my website is um, michaelomatasha.co.com. Um, so like I said, I do this as well for um, startup companies as well. We're trying to, like if you've got an idea, Pam, you could just say, hey, Michael, I need to design something and it's put into the market. How can you get me doing this and stuff? So I'll be the guy to be like, sure, I'll design it for you. I'll make a 3D model for you. I'll 3D print it for you. So you don't have to go to China before you see a product, if that makes sense. So you can see what it would look like first before considering let's go to a manufacturer or that kind of thing. So we can always refine and retune ideas before saying this is the final product and let's get into the market. Exactly. So yeah, that's pretty much what I do really. Yeah, yeah. So go, give us to, to us again, www.michaelomatasha.com. Spell that for us, spell that for O-M. Uh, Michael is M-I-C-H-A-E-L. Um, Omotasho is O-M-O-T-O-S-H-O. Omotasha, it sounds Japanese at times, but yeah, it's Omotasha. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I thought, when, when, when I saw your image, I was, I was expecting to see uh, <laughs> he's an oriental. And then I, I've seen your face come up, this handsome black man. I don't know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, I, um, on social medias as well, it's Plugo. So it's P-L-U-G-U-L-L. -L. Um, and on my personal social media is the Michael Omotasha. I'm sure if you search my name, with that name, you will find me somewhere. Excellent. So Michael and Matasha, um, and that's it. Um, I'm available um, to you know contact for anything you might need from me. You've done it. You've done a you've done a standard job here, and you're a great inventor. And we want to hear and see more of you. So I know we're going to be talking again. You're going to come up with another gadget, because I've got to tell Pam about this. Uh, I want to get Pam show. I want to tell her about this one and all. All right, lovely job, Lisa. Thank you so much. I don't know if I could just say Happy Father's Day. All right, two presumptions. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I've got two kids, so <laughs> I'm a major two. So yeah, I'm your father. Happy Father's Day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Happy Father's Day. Thank you, Michael. Take Thank care. You. Um, and you too. Have a great one. Thank you. Thank you. Okie dokie. Right, we're going to take a, a little bit of a break. Before I do that, 
we'd really like to hear your views and questions because we've got a panel coming up, moves and shakers that we do. We're talking about um, race relations in the UK. So here's your things. You can do um, go on the YouTube channel, the platform there, Media Net Live TV, on our Facebook page, Lifestyle on Ben. Uh, tweet at Lifestyle TV or email Lifestyle on Ben at hotmail.co.uk. See you after this.